guys doing Michael Robinson here with the F1 Ultra today you're gonna take some of these ordinary slate coasters and we're gonna go ahead and turn them into a 3d embossed slate that you guys keep seeing so now that the coaster is placed into the machine we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the computer we're gonna do the auto measure and we're going to then create the image itself and we'll be back over here here we are going to use AI make which is X tools new AI software to make a nice line art drawing that we're going to later use to make an embossed image. So here you can see a few examples. I clicked line art as the style. As you can see here are all the options. Click line art. I typed in sunflower low detail, sunflower medium detail, sunflower fine detail. Now I'm going to try Sunflower Photo Realism. See here we got some nice examples. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one down here on the end. We're going to download it locally. We can either come back here or go into XCS. We're going to come right here. We're going to upload the image that we just downloaded, open it up, crop it at a one to one. This you can go ahead and leave blank. You can play around with this if you desire. I make do the embossment conversion from the line art image. As you can see here, it's done very nice job creating nice detail. Now that we have XCS opened up and we're connected to the F1 Ultra, we're going to go up here to process on flat surface. We're going to click that. We're going to scroll down to where we see embossment. Click here. So now in here it says that you need to use depth map images. If you want to learn more, you can go ahead and click that link. We're going to go back to AI Art of Mine. It's connected to AI Make. So we're going to come over here to the embossment panel and this is the image that we had created in Art of Mine with the line art and then used Art of Mine to or AI make to do the embossment conversion. So now we're going to go ahead and import this to canvas. Now that you can see here that it is imported into the canvas, we're going to go ahead and size this thing down. Um, you can see the preview. Here we are. Everything is just like it was before. Click this out here. Alright, so we're going to do the auto measure on the. We hit auto focus. You're going to see it's going to go ahead and move up by itself. Alright, we've sent everything over from the computer. Over we're going to create an image of the background on the machine. Now you can see that we have a, a slate coaster put in place. Now I'm going to size the embossed image that we made so that way it fits onto the coaster. As you can see, it is a little bit crooked compared to the coaster behind it. So what we can do here is type in an angle to adjust it, a degree. We're going to put in one degree and that makes it pretty straight. I like that. You could go about uh, say 0.25 degrees and that'll do it just a little bit more. See how we get even more perfect. Probably do another quarter of a degree. So you can fine tune it in there. See now we're, we're lined up pretty pretty good. All right, so it might have went a little bit too far. So we can back up, do a negative 0.25, and there we go. So we're going to size this up to as much as we can. We still want to stay within the actual coaster so we're not engraving into the base plate.
That should be good. The image lined up on the coaster. We're going to go ahead and select the image again. Over here you can see the settings panel. Um, we're set to blue light. It's going to do 256 layers. Um, you can see it's set to 1% power. If we leave it like that, it's not going to do anything. So what we want to come up here is do is where it says user defined material. Click that and we're going to select rock coaster. Click the corresponding material of which you are uh, embossing into. So as you can see now that the settings have populated themselves. We have 100% power, 3800 millimeters per second, 200 lines per centimeter. Um, and one thing I'm going to do is, as you can see, this embossing image goes pretty deep. We're going to go ahead and uh, actually just leave it. We're going to let it go run the full, full length. And now that the image is populated, down here on the left corner, you can see the estimated time. It's going to be 3 hours and 48 minutes. We're going to go up here and press start and that's going to send the job to the machine. Machine, as you can see it's loaded up. We are in focus. The coaster is in place. We have the artwork tilted ever so slightly to match the orientation of the coaster in the machine. And we're going to go ahead and when we're ready we're going to press, press start. In order to do that, we're going to press the shield down, make sure that it's sealed on all sides, press this button. guys thanks for watching there's how you take a blank slate coaster and turn it into a nice beautiful embossed